Hey guys, welcome to this video and myself Hardik Patel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix the error message in Premiere Pro CS6 or CC. When you open Premiere Pro, then error message prompts up that Premiere Pro could not find any capable video modules. Okay, so how to fix this? Method 1. Go to search bar and type device manager. Into the device manager, open display adapters and double click on graphics cards adapters. Here I have AMD Radeon drivers. Just go to driver options and roll back driver. In some cases, this will solve the error, but if you find that this won't solve the issue or the roll back driver option is grayed out, then click on update driver and click on to the search automatically update driver. If updating driver won't work, then follow the second method. Right click and open configure switchable graphics, then open all applications. Here you will find the graphic settings of Premiere Pro is locked to power savings and can't be changed. So open PC and go to C drive. Open program files then open Adobe folder and go to Premiere Pro folder. Here you double click to Premiere Pro.exe file to change the name and rename it to something like Premiere Pro Pro and enter. Now go to configure switchable graphics by right clicking on desktop and open all applications. Now click to add application and find out Premiere Pro profile and double click to add it. Here make sure high performance graphic setting is selected and press apply. Now again press add application and open Adobe Premiere Pro folder in Adobe and select GPU sniffer. Now again select the high performance graphics option for GPU sniffer and click apply. Restart your system and try to open Premiere Pro Pro.exe file from the Adobe folder. If still problem persists then go to method 3. This method will definitely work but it will reduce the graphics performance of Adobe Premiere Pro. Just go to device manager and double click device adapters. Right click to external graphics card driver and click to disable. System will prompt up a message that disabling this device will cause it to stop functioning. Press yes to perform this action. Now if you try to open Premiere Pro then it will definitely get open and will work perfectly. I hope this video will be definitely helpful to you and in returns I just need your support. Please subscribe this channel to support my work and like and share this video to others who are looking for the solution for this error. And thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.